Hello, this is Pinky, and before getting into this tutorial, I would like to quickly mention that only 3.2% of the people that watch this are subscribed. Uh, if this tutorial helps you at all, I would appreciate it if you could drop a subscription and like the video, as I put a decent amount of time into these videos, and I just like to help people. So, to help the algorithm and spread this video, please uh, just like, leave a comment, and subscribe. Anyways. Hello, this is Pinky, and this will be a tutorial on how to add animations to your avatar. So, this tutorial will be split into two parts. The first will be just adding the animation, and the second part will be adding music alongside your animation. So, to get started, we're going to go to our avatar, and we are going to our action layer here. Yours may look slightly different from mine, but in the end, it should have a wait for AF uh, action or AFK. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to copy this. But if you want to check, you have to make the playable layer control and the tracking control. And I'm going to just copy and paste this. And I'm going to rename this to prepare dancing. And I'm going to make a transition. So for right now, I'm only planning to add an one animation, which will be this one right here. So I'm going to create a single transition and I'm only going to call for one value. So in here, in our conditions, pick VRC emotes. If this does not show up for you, what you will have to do is go up here to parameters, click new, click int, and then rename the int that you make to VRC emote exactly like this. So after you've done that, go here and go to equals. So click right here, go to equals and pick any number between zero and 254. So I'm personally going to pick a hundred and I'm also going to do the same for here. VRC emote equals 100. So now to the emote in question, I'm choosing a dance uh, personally. And if I want this to loop, I will click on the emote and I will click on here and do leap loop emote. If you do not want it to loop, then turn it off. Anyways, so now here we are going to take this, we're going to make another transition and we're going to transition it into the bleed out stand. And we're going to call this, uh, we're going to add the conditions and VRC emote not equals and not equals to a hundred. So, this is the first step. Just make sure that you have equals 100, equals 100, equals uh, or does not equal 100. And then you are done with here. Our next step will be adding this to the menu. So we are going to go to our add menu. We're going to do add control. And we are going to rename this to dance. We are going to make it a toggle. Hello, this is Pinky from the future. And I'm just going to quickly say that I did not go over the fact that you have to add VRC emote to your uh, avatar parameters. This can be found inside of your main avatar where your VRC descriptor is. And you just have to add it right here. And we're going to make it so that when emote is equal to 100, it will play. Now to check if this successfully works, we're going to click play. We're going to go here, here, and hit dance. And as you can see, the dance has successfully worked. Now, if you don't want that delay, what you can actually do is go back to the action layer and in here where it says has exit time, set that to zero and turn it off. And same with this one, zero, turn it off. And if you also want this, you can set that to zero and turn it off. And that would just mean that you exit out of the emote quicker. So to test that, if that worked, click play again, go to your emotes click dance and as you can see that was a lot faster than last time so that is part one of this tutorial part two will be adding the music so what I am going to do is go to where I put my music which is inside of here uh, I chose a dot wav I'm pretty sure dot ogg and dot mp3 are accepted you just have to make sure that the file imports correctly to make sure that happens um, you'll see these like kind of yellow uh, design here for like the uh, waveform of the audio. That's how you know it's successfully imported. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it here 
into my hierarchy and then I'm going to drag it into my avatar. Now we are going to create an emote for this. So we're going to click on the avatar. We're going to click here on the controller, the uh, animator and then into controller. And we're going to pick our FX layer, which in my case is Ampwave FX. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, create new clip, and I'm going to call it dance on. I'm now going to click play. And here I'm going to turn this on and off quickly so that dance on matches with the object being turned on. And then I'm going to do dance off and I'm going to create another animation, but this time the it's going to be off. So now that that is done, I'm going to quickly reset. I'm going to take the controller out because we no longer need it. And I'm going to go to my actual controller. So right here, FX controller inside of here, we're going to go to layers. Uh, you can get rid of these. These don't matter. And we're going to make a new layer. As you can see, press plus go in here we're gonna call it dance uh, dance wow I am not on my game dance and then we are going to go to parameters and we're going to add the int VRC emote spelt exactly like that and now inside of here we're gonna put the weight all the way up and then wherever you stored your two uh, animations which I believe I did in here. We're going to have dance um, off the default and then dance on be the toggle. So we're going to do transition, make a transition. And inside of here, we are going to go VRC emote equals 100. Same numbers we used before. And for over here, same thing. VRC emote equals 100. And I'm going to turn exit time to zero on both of these and turn them off. And to make sure that this has successfully worked, when you boot up the uh, avatar and you go to the emote 